Hey guys, so Apple had their music event and they released a ton of stuff. The most I've ever seen them release in one episode, in one show. They did all the boring stuff where they tell you all the stats and stuff. I've got three pages here of stuff that I had to write down. Um, and I, they streamed it live for Mac users on Safari 5 or above. Um, so I watched it on that. Um, so I'll start off and I won't bother boring you with like the, all the new shops and stuff. So, they released a brand new whole line of iPods. Um, they had, first of all was the iPod Shuffle. I will be reading from this, so. First of all they had the iPod Shuffle. It's square and they brought back the buttons because they obviously figured out that the the shuffle without the buttons was stupid. It has a 15 hour battery life, loads of colours obviously because they always do the colour thing and it's $49 for a 2 gigabyte iPod Shuffle. So that's quite cool. Then they brought out the iPod Nano which to be honest I don't like. Yeah, I don't really like it much because it's gone from this really cool long with buttons to a multi-touch iPod shuffle size and I really don't like that, it just looks like an iPod shuffle with a screen. So it plays music, it has multi-touch and there is apps for it so you can play mini games I guess. And it's going for $149 for 8GB and $179 for 16GB. Then we have the new iPod Touch which looks exactly the same except there is a camera on the front and back and you can do FaceTime, it's got a retina display, an Apple A4 chip, HD recording with a normal camera on the back and it will last for 40 hours so they always improve the battery I guess. Um, you can pre-order it today and it will be shipping next week. So that's kind of a big deal but also not because it looks exactly the same. They moved on to iTunes and first of all they talked about how iTunes has sold more MP3s than CDs and they, they thought that they should probably get rid of the CD that's in their logo. So they've changed their logo to a very simple one like they always do. They've made it more elegant which to be honest it I don't think that that's possible. Then they brought out Ping and they said it's like Facebook and Twitter and it's a music social network and I immediately thought MySpace. So, but basically you can follow an artist so they kept referring back you can follow Lady Gaga and you can comment on pictures that she posts, videos that she posts. You follow someone like Twitter but it's in the style of Facebook, that's what it is but it's all about music. And then they said that it's called iTunes 10 obviously and it is available now so you can go download it from the Apple website. So then they moved on to Apple TV which is a big thing that they haven't touched for ages. So they moved on to it and they made it a fourth the size and they've changed it so it's all rental no purchase. So you rent it all and that means you don't have the problem of having a hard drive. They lowered the price of streaming movies and TV shows. They, HD movies is $4.99 and a HD TV show is 99 cent. Uh, it can stream Netflix, YouTube and Flickr and pictures and videos from MobileMe. It can stream from your Mac or PC. It can stream from your iPhone or iPod or iPad. Um, you get Rotten Tomato, tom Rotten Tomato reviews straight onto the movies, so you can see what people thought about it instantly through the Apple TV. Um, it's very small, and they've lowered the price from a huge 229 to a very reasonable 99 dollars which is really great and on the back all they have is a power a HDMI an Ethernet and I think that's it there's not many ports on the back at all it's really small so that's everything I'm sorry this was a bit of a bland video but I wanted to tell you guys all the information as quick as I could because otherwise this video could drag out and be like seven minutes long which I'm trying to avoid but yeah, so thanks for watching. See you later. I've got to go edit this and upload it. Yay! Bye.